Oi there, what's up? If you think you were the Mahag girl, then yes, I had a hack and a cake. Anyway, this is a tech video in which I'm going to show you what to do when your iPhone screen turns black or is not responding at all. But if you have an iPhone, then this will happen really soon with you now. It's a very delicate phone and full down. The display may just go, like, just like that. So basically, there are two methods to fix this problem. One is rebooting your phone and second one is basically you have to open your iPhone. So I'm going to show you both the ways. Uh, let's start with the first one. Now, the first method basically works every time. You don't need to go to the second method. Uh, it is like, you know, in the rare cases or something where you have to do the second method. But anyway, let's start with the first method where you just have to press the lock button and the home screen button together, like for a few seconds. And there you go. The app logo just pops up over there. And your iPhone is back on track. It just starts working, you know. Uh, there is one thing, okay, now when you do this, the phone will take a lot of time, like you know, maybe a minute or so to start, but uh, but when it starts working, it may not respond to you at the first moment. It will just take time because it's rebooting, so it will take time. Wait for some two minutes or something, and then just with the start moving smoothly. It's easy. Yeah, it's going too slow. Now, if it just stop over here, okay, it's going slow because it's, because I just rebooted it. Okay, so. Time and it started. See, it started working properly. So that's all for the first method. This works normally every time with any iPhone. Okay, just press the power button and the home button together. It starts working. So moving on to the second method now. Well, this second method is basically you have to do if the first method doesn't work because this kind of like you know you do so much effort and it like cover and. Stuff. So basically, you should make this up with the first method, and then if it doesn't work out, then you should move on to the second method. Now, in the second method, you need to remove this back code, right? So there are small screws right here on the iPhone, which are really, really tiny. For that, you need to get some small hardware toolkit where you find some small screwdrivers for these tiny screws right here. It should be like readily available in on eBay or any other online shopping. Something. Or basically, you can just go up down to any hardware shop and you can just ask, like, you know, you need those small screws, which are right here, and you just remove these off. Now, after removing the two tiny screws right here, you just need to slightly push up the back cover and down so that it will unlock from the, you know, it can be detachable from the, from the iPhone. Yeah, you can attach it again by the screws and all. Deal. Okay, after that, this is how the iPhone from inside, how it looks like when you open it from the back cover. And you have to only work on top of the iPhone where you can see the silver metal plane. Well, this plate is basically the bridge or the connector between the display and the phone, which is like the front end and the back end. It is like this. Okay, when your iPhone falls down, this thing makes go a bit away. Alright, so it becomes a gap in between, which may give you the problem of this where your phone goes black, black screen, or um, it's not responsive. Okay, so at that time, you, when you open up your iPhone, you just need to tap a bit on that plate. You just need to tap on the silver metal plate till you hear the click sound. Click sound is basically the assurance that your display is back on track again. It will again connect the screen and the back end together, which will get your display back. Well, that's all guys. These are the two methods. First method is very, 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 very simple where you can try it, you know, if your phone just stops working, you know, it's not responsive or the black screen. And if it doesn't work out, then you can move on to the second method. Well, that's all guys. I hope this video was really helpful for all the iPhone users. And please do like this video, subscribe to my channel and share the video as much as you can. Bye -bye. I'll be all together. See you all in the next video. Bye.